Hello everybody, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me today and pressing play on the video. Um, today this is our project. I posted this yesterday on my blog as part of the Pootlers team blog hop. Um, we always do a blog hop when there's a new catalogue out. So three times a year we do a blog hop. There's 31 of us on the blog hop this time, so loads of people. So do pop over into my blog and have a look at that. And this is the card that I posted. It uses the new papers that are part of the Sailor offer so the celebration promotion means that if you spend 45 pounds in any catalog by anything you like you can choose something free and one of the free things are these papers they're called honeybee papers and they coordinate no they're not they're called golden honey papers they coordinate with the honeybee set and the detailed bee dies um, that are in the new catalogue so I have used in the papers even my little bees are from the papers and I've used one of the dies to cut them out um, to make this card that's very appropriate for a man I thought and it's always very difficult to come up with nice cards for men and I thought this one actually worked quite well especially the black and gold colour scheme um, but what I wanted to do today I'm going to show you how to make it but I'm going to change up the colour scheme I'm going to make try and make it a bit more appropriate for a female so you can see how you can use both um, the, the papers to do both male and female but basically made the same way so let me show you what I used as the basis for my card were two of our notelets get rid of all of that for the minute so these are two of our notelets if I fold them if I find my phone folder you can see and I'm going to have an extra panel here because I only need three panels for my card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in our ever so sweet new little, um, oh, not one on the floor, new little trimmer, which is available if you join um, any time between now and the end of March. Um, you get this, you'll get this little trimmer free, and it's lovely. I've loved having it. So useful to just have on my desk and cut little to do matting and things. It's really useful. So anyway, what I'm going to do is from where the, the fold is, I'm going to um, cut about a centimetre. It doesn't have to be that accurate, but you just need a strip there so that you can attach it to the other note cards. We don't need that anymore. Pop my gorgeous little trimmer away. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find my snips. I always think I've got everything out, and then as soon as I start working, I can need other things. Right, here are my snips. So I'm just going to trim down these corners a little bit, there we go, and then I'm going to take a bit of tear and tape and stick it onto that panel, that, that little, little strip that I've just cut off the other bit, and then peel off the back of the tear and tape, and this is going to give us our three panelled card. So take the other notelet, note card, and line that up carefully as you can, and then press down. There we go. So there are our three panels. You might need to use your bone folder again just to get that nice and crisp. There is our three panel blank, and you can't see the join at all from there. You can see it slightly on the back, but not on the front. Right, then what you need are three mats. And I've used, on these, I've used crushed curry and black cardstock on this one. But today, because I want to make it a bit more female, I'm using Blushing Bride and Petal Pink. So I'm doing a pinky, pinky peachy um, colour scheme today to make it a bit more feminine so that you can see how these papers can be used for both male and female. So all of those need to be glued down using my Tombow here just going to glue that one you can use any adhesive you like you could use snail you could use tear and tape for everything if you wanted to but just for ease I'm using Tombow today and um, it will give you a bit of wiggle room if you don't get the panels down absolutely straight there we go there. So I hope you all, this is my first real video back since um, 
Christmas really. I haven't really been doing very many videos. Had a bit of a traumatic December and Christmas, which some of you will know about. Um, but I'm back now, trying to get back in the swing. My aim today is to, to film three videos. So this is my first, so we shall see if we manage to get them done. Right, there we go. So there's our three panels. So like I said, I've used Blushing Bride instead of Crushed Curry, but I did on th this one. And I've used peach um, petal pink instead of the black panel. I'm then going to use three three um, pieces of designer paper from the same pack. And I'm using the same one in the centre. I'm using that one with the gold. So I'm going to just stick that there. Oh, I haven't told you the measurements. Now, the um, where's my book? The note cards measure 127 by 8.9 centimeters and each for each panel I've gone down by half a centimeter so the cardstock panels measure 12.2 by 8.4 and these pattern paper the DSP panels measure 11.7 by 7.9 so that's the same pa pa pattern paper that I used on the other card but to make this one a bit more female I wanted to get rid of the black so I'm only using the white and gold designs on this one. So I'm going to use the honeycomb, which is really nice. I really love that paper. Always certain patterns of paper in a pack that I like better than others and it gets used up and then I have to think of ways of using the other pieces of paper. Hey-ho, there we go. There's one. So you can see what a different effect I'm getting just by changing up the colours. So I just wanted to show you how appropriate it could be for both. I've got a very, very um, wet sponge in with my glue at the minute, which is squeezing, making it squeeze up water. And um, I just put it on a damp sponge to um, keep the tip moist so it doesn't dry out. But it's obviously got a bit too much water today because it's absorbing water and then squeezing out. There we go. And that's that one. And then for the ovals I have already cut I've cut these again out of petal pink and blushing bride on this version I cut two out of gold and one out of black but because I wanted this one to be quite pretty I've done two in petal pink and one in blushing bride so I'm going to glue I'm now I'm actually I'm, no I'm not going to glue those yet I'm going to do the embossing first so what we need to do is decorate the three panels that are going to go on here. Now I've already die cut mine. What might be easier for you if you wanted to would be to stamp and do the embossing and then die cut them because you can position your die really properly. But I don't like die cutting on camera because it, everything just moves and it's too big. So um, I've just cut mine out already. So I've already got my stamps mounted. It's going to be slightly different this one. It's going to be a 65th birthday card for a wonderful friend. I've got on there so first of all I need my embossing buddy I only need two of these at the minute take my embossing buddy and my Versamark pad not that one. Oh, that one new one there we go and ink up your stamp so I have used here sorry I didn't tell you that I'm using the family party set that you can just piece together so on my stamp if you can see I've got happy six five th and birthday so I've put five stamps on there out of this set to say happy 65th birthday it's a really versatile set that I've got loads of relations and things um, I, like I said I'm using friend today so I'm just going to position that on my oval and hope that it's straight and um, central and like I said if you're doing this you could actually um, stamp it and emboss it and then die cut it right I just need some embossing powder like so because I use my embossing paddy there's not much stray not many stray pieces I'm probably going to need my tweezers here because it's quite small my fingers will get burnt so I'm just going to let my heat gun heat up a little bit before I put it on it and then I'm going to try today doing it from underneath because you can see better that way I think and actually I can see as well when it starts to go so let's see if that works any better 
There it go, I can see it tight going to tighten to go. Yep, and then just up at the top, there we go, lovely. So that's one of my panels done. That oh, little tiny bit of the th isn't done. So just come back in with my heat gun and just heat that again. That's it, I could just see that was looking really dull. Right, and then on this one, I'm going to put two A Wonderful Friends. So it's, you've got two A Wonderful, four A Special, You're the Best, um, all sorts of messages you can do with this set. And because it's got all the numerals in it as well, it's really helpful for special birthdays. Um, right, and this is my two A Wonderful Friend. It's going on that panel. And again, just put a little bit of embossing powder on. And flick it off. There we go. And again, let's do this one from the top, see what difference it makes. So you can do either. Before I had a heat gun, I used to do it on my toaster. I used to place the card on the toaster and then put turn the toaster on and the warm air coming up from the toaster will, will um, melt the embossing powder. It's a lot easier with, um, especially on video, to use a heat gun. Right, there we go, that's all the embossing done. Now the other panel, as you can see, has got with love on it and that's die cut with the well written dies. But the beady eyed of you will have noticed that we don't have a with um, die, we have love. So what I'm going to do is I am going to, oh, I would if I want to just have a little bit of card, let's put it on a bit of card. You don't have a plastic lid, oh that's too, see what I mean, this is a bit too runny at the minute. There, put a little bit of Tombow on there, because then I can come in with a cocktail stick. So I've got Love here, that's been cut out of the well written dies, and I'm going to come in with a cocktail stick, and just dab a little bit of glue on that, so that I don't get too much. And it, but it will hold it all down. It's very tricky doing this. I've seen people doing it with a sponge. That's a good idea as well. You just dip the sponge in and on it. But I'm quite happy doing it with a cocktail stick. So there's my love. And to do the with, I've cut two other words. I've cut thanks, although it's not quite come out because it wasn't a big enough bit of card, but I only needed the first bit, so it didn't matter that it wasn't a big enough piece of card. So I'm just gonna trim off the th and all the bits so there's the th bit of the with and then the with the wi is the beginning of wishes so you can put those two together to make with so you just need to place them together and make sure they look okay that's fine i'm quite happy with that so let's come in with my cocktail stick again had a bit of a tidy up in my craft room and I've realised I've moved some things so they're not as handy. Usually my plastic lids are very handy so I can just use them with my glue and I actually put them away somewhere. Obviously need them a bit handier so I might have to fish them out again. Find them a different home. It's a real time of year. I was just talking to some friends on WhatsApp about decluttering. We're all madly trying to tidy up and clear out at the moment i think it's the effect of the new year we all feel like having a bit of a clear out there we go there's my with love and i'm just going to put a little bit now when you do die cut the w the wishes you need to make sure you hold on to the dot for the eye the number of times i have thrown the dot away and only realized afterwards that i still need it so make sure you don't throw the dot away that goes with the width. Right, there we go. There are our panels. So now I'm going to come back in with the, the um, Tombow and we're going to glue. Where have I put my panels? Oh, where have they gone? There, hiding. There we go. So this one is going on blushing. No, it's going on petal pink. There we go, so that's going on petal pink. This one is going on blush, um, blushing bride. Right, a 
if you if you can see I'm getting quite a fine line of glue there if you don't push if you don't um push too hard you can get quite a fine line of glue from that um thin end of your um tombow which is quite good there we go there's the with love and the last one oh, got a mark on there don't like that very much that's better there we are and the last one is the 65th birthday one there we go and so there we go I'll put all the measurements for the panels on my blog when I put this on tonight um, so you'll have them there right so happy 65th birthday you could turn these around actually you could put to a wonderful friend with love Happy 65th birthday. Maybe they'd prefer that because they could see the front of the card. Maybe I'll do it that way round this time. Um, some people don't like having it pointed out to them how old they are. I just feel that, you know, there's no getting away from it. So however old I am, I'm quite happy for people to acknowledge it. There we go. And the bees, the bees on this one, I cut out from some of the paper. Um, and they're obviously black bees but the paper this paper you can die cut the bees the, the, the dies coordinate with a lot of the images on the paper um, and so you can die cut the gold, gold bees as well so on this one because I was trying to keep it quite delicate and I didn't want great big blitz of black